What's going on, BFL fam? I'm Carlos. This is Oya. Hey guys. Welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today we have three fragrances from the house of Thomas Cosmala. Keep it right there and we'll tell you all about them. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thanks so much for tuning in today, everyone. As always, we really do appreciate it. Before we go on with this video, just want to let you know that these bottles were sent to us from the company, but as always, all opinions are our own. Definitely. Thomas Cosmala is the line of, I don't know how many fragrances, about a dozen or so. <laughs> mm -hmm. But today we have three of them. We have number three, number four, and number seven. They all have French names as well, but I'm not feeling to get tongue-tied today. So when we get to the fragrance and we discuss it, I will leave an annotation down below and you can see what the name of the fragrance is. Today we're going to call them by numbers. They recently launched this year and made a huge, huge splash at Bloomingdale's. Yeah, exclusive to Bloomingdale's and they sold out within a week. Several of the fragrances were just gone. Mm -hmm. I believe this one here was this one of them. This uh, one sold out, yeah. And uh, yeah, they're really happy with the brand and their fragrances and the people are loving them, apparently. We were actually at the launch event at Oasis Lux, and we had a great time. We got to meet Thomas, and he told us about the fragrances. It was a bunch of us, Tip Benson, Max Forty, Steven from Adolescence, Olia, and just a great night. It's always a fun night when it's a fragrant event in New yeah, York City. It was fun. We have one tonight, as a matter of fact. Yes. <laughs> These fragrances are 100 ml bottle, and they retail for 175. Before we go on with anything, again, another disclaimer: these are very, very strong. Whatever. The perfumer Thomas uses in these. He wants a very long lasting fragrance and they are very long lasting. You can actually overspray these if you're not careful. I made the mistake of spraying this one four times on a shirt besides on my skin mm -hmm. and I was getting comments <laughs> the whole day, mostly positive. I got a couple of negative. You know, some people always, oh, oh it's so strong, you know, but you always have that one person at work. But for the most part, people loved it, but I didn't respray and it lasted the entire day and on the way home and past laundry. No exaggeration. For all you projection <laughs> complainers and longevity <laughs> complainers, here you go. <laughs> we'll start with this one here. It's called number three. And let me try. I'm talk so one thing. Try it. Crepuscule Ardent. Ooh la la. Probably wrong, <laughs> but it's a leather fragrance. It's got notes of saffron, olibanum, jasmine, leather, suede, and amber. It's definitely leathery, but I get more so the suede. You know, I think it's it's more of like a like a really expensive, nice luxury really jacket. Good leather jacket, yeah. You know, to me, it's also like a very smoky saffron in the opening, which is backed up by that leather. But the leather is mixed really nice with jasmine, which kind of gives it that green twist, which I really like, because it gives it like a fresh twist. But I really like this. This is definitely something that you can wear every day. Um, and it's very modern. It's like modern and cool and chic. And I feel like if you, especially if you spray it on the leather jacket. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this is gonna give you possibly a reminiscence of ombre leather or Tuscan leather. Mm -hmm. It's definitely in that family. It doesn't wear on skin exactly the same, but the first sprays of this, you said, oh, maybe, but it goes in a different direction on skin. You want to spray this liberally, but not too much. The beauty in these is how long they last, and yeah. you don't have to spray so much. You can't overdo it, so you've been warned. <laughs> We've got number four next. What does this contain? You have right to here. Chi -chi. <laughs> I do, so let me go for it. The notes for number four are Top notes, bitter orange, lemon zest. Middle notes, aromatic, fresh, spicy. And the base notes are dry wood, amber, and musk. Wow. Mm. It's definitely fresh and spicy and aromatic for sure. It's like really kind of just, just hits you right away with that kind of lemon zestiness. Mm. It's really fresh. It's got uh, that kind of sweet undertone throughout the whole thing but it's not 
overly sweet and it has a reminiscence in my opinion to Baccarat Rouge 540. Mm -hmm. A little bit. But again, it's just the opening spray and then when it settles on skin, yeah. it goes a different direction. But this is very strong. It projects like a beast. This is very, very powerful. Definitely. And it's also an interesting thing that even though it has all these fresh kind of lemon aromatic notes, I can even see this as an evening fragrance mm -hmm. as well. Because of that amber in, a dry, in the dry down, you know, you have that warm muskiness. It's also very musky to my nose. You know, definitely going into yeah. that synthetic musk direction, which I'm sure a lot of you know from the Montal scents and some, a lot of Mancera. Um, but it's an interesting one. 100% unisex as well, and I definitely see a date tonight. I see this. I don't, I don't agree if I respectfully disagree. I think this is a going out fragrance. Really? It'll cut through the sweat and ambiance of a club. It was too strong for work. I'm giving you my experience. It oh, was yeah, too strong you for did work. have that experience. <laughs> well, we're in a different line of work. <laughs> well, you're in the perfume business. Hello. Exactly. I can spray myself with anything and everything. Well, I guess, again, yeah, just like Carl says, it depends. Maybe if you're working um, close with people, mm -hmm. this may not be the best um, day fragrance. But, yeah, at night, I mean, this is a cool one for sure. I like this it. one would be more work appropriate. And yeah. even more so, the last one that we didn't discuss yet is more appropriate for work, in my opinion. So number seven we have there. And I just want to show you the cap because the engraving of the brand is on the cap, which I really like. The devil is in the detail. <laughs> well, I already sprayed this. Yes. I guess you smell this. This one is really and citrusy I, I and have fresh. A I have notes a are coming up. <laughs> Go for it, love. Top notes of bergamot, Italian lemon, and fresh marine notes. Middle notes are aqua and fresh floral. Agua? It says aqua. I'm assuming it's I was water. <laughs> and then base notes are fresh woods and musk. This is a really, really fresh, citrusy. I don't get the marine notes so much. It's more of a citrus cocktail to me in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. And it's it's just very fresh and definitely something. There's nothing musky in that one. Yeah, I don't really like some of the other now. ones. The number one, which we didn't review here today has a bright neroli, but it has a really dry, musky dry down. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to talk about that one on my channel. Yes, look for that on her channel. Scent menu, by the way. I like this one. I think this is a perfect one for right now. We are mm -hmm. going into the summer. We're already experiencing the heat and the humidity. And I feel that bergamot zestiness, that kind of citrus aspect but it's not a juicy citrus you know this is kind of a very i, I it's very very aquatic uh, uh, what are you carlos <laughs> you're getting tongue tied like me it's it rubs off so more new fragrances for you guys to check out if you get a chance definitely look them up at bloomingdale's and i would love to help you with a sample pack before i guess how many there were in the collection there are actually nine i counted <laughs> yeah and they're all very modern and they're all very Potent. Yeah. Whichever one you potent choose, they're all modern. potent and definitely have great performance. This is a sample set of all of the entire line of Thomas Cosmala. I will give it away to one lucky subscriber. Worldwide, this can be all you have to do is subscribe to Broken Fragrance Lover, subscribe to Scent Menu, like this video, then leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about this video today. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on the bell icon so you don't miss notifications. I'm going to review your content giveaways and all the fragrance fun always happening right here at BFL. Take care, sleep less, and we'll see you next time.